Welcome back. In the last video we talked about the fermentation process, and what kind of chemistry is involved when it comes to the fermentation process. In this video we're going to cover the next stop point, which is a bit related but um, it's actually going back to one of our earlier videos, which is the process of going from ethanol to ethylene and from ethylene to ethanol. So the hydration of ethylene to ethanol and the dehydration of ethanol to ethylene. The actual dot point says process information from secondary sources such as molecular model kits, digital technologies or computer simulations to model A, the addition of water to ethylene and B, the dehydration of ethanol. In this video we're going to actually cover the computer simulations. I'm going to show you a computer simulation of how both A, the addition of water to ethylene produces ethanol and the dehydration of ethanol produces ethylene. I'll do, first we'll do number A, so the addition of water to ethylene. So here this is A, the hydration of ethylene to ethanol. So this is what I'm going to show you in the actual simulation. And what you have here is this is the ethylene. So the purple part here is supposed to be this. It's got two carbons, they're connected by double bonds and four hydrogens coming off it. Whereas the thing next to it, this is actually not ethanol yet because to produce ethanol we have two steps. The first step is we have a catalyst. So if you remember sulfuric acid was a catalyst. So this here is actually sulfuric acid. So what you'll see in the first part of the animation is ethylene. You have the double bond breaking and this sulfuric acid molecule joining to the actual ethylene molecule to produce something called ethyl hydrogen sulfate. So I'm going to play the animation in a second. You'll see that happen and I'll, I'll, I'll take you for the actual animation as well and then I'll discuss what happened afterwards. So I'll play the animation now. So what you see here is ethylene and sulfuric acid moving around randomly, but they're not going to meet until you increase the temperature. Here we've increased the temperature, they're going to move and randomly hit now, which means they can actually react together. So you're going to see the hydrogen and oxygen come off the sulfuric acid and attach to the ethylene molecule. Now there's a new molecule called hydrogen, ethyl hydrogen sulfate. I'm going to play the animation again. So here you see ethylene and sulfuric acid moving around randomly until we increase the temperature, now they're moving faster and now they hit. Then you have hydrogen and oxygen coming off sulfuric acid and attaching to the ethylene. Now we have a new molecule called ethyl hydrogen sulfate and this will be used for the second step which I'll go over now. So what you actually saw in the actual animation itself is ethylene which was that original molecule C2H4 combining with sulfuric acid, which was that bigger molecule H2SO4. And when they combined, they made ethyl hydrogen sulfate, which is this molecule here. And it had a chemical structure of C2H5HSO4, which is just all of these atoms. It was also important to remember that it didn't actually happen until you had your temperatures increased. So temp increased, that was about 300 degrees. Because if you increase your temp, that means you actually had the molecules moving faster and that meant that these two could actually meet. They have to meet before that reaction happens. So before that reaction didn't happen, nothing happened. So when you increase the temperature, it could happen. Also important to put that down as number one, because that's the first step. This here is not yet solved. We wanted to produce ethanol. That was the whole reason why we did this. But we haven't produced ethanol yet. That was the reason why we did it, but I haven't produced it yet. Because we had it's two steps. So I showed you the first step now. And we produced this ethyl hydrogen sulfate, which was the intermediate the intermediate step. And now we'll show you what happens when we produce ethanol by adding more water to it. So we will produce water at this structure, and from that we make ethanol. But I hope that animation was useful. So what you can see here, we have two molecules. We have a ethyl hydrogen sulfate, which is a big molecule, and a water molecule, and they're about to collide. And once they collide, they will react together. So now they have actually collided, they're going to react together. What happens is you have sulfuric acid coming off again. So you're on the left-hand side, you've got sulfuric acid coming off. And the water has splintered two into a hydrogen group and OH group, and they're about to attach. So now we have two new molecules. We have sulfuric acid, which we had in the beginning, and we also have an ethanol molecule, which is what we wanted to have. So what you saw in the second part of the reaction was this ethyl hydrogen sulfate reacting with a water molecule to form these two products we had here on this side. We had ethanol, 
So that was when they hit the two OH, OH group in the hydrogen, they connected to the ethylene molecule. We got ethanol. And this also formed again. This was a furic acid. So furic acid. So in that second part of the reaction, we got what we wanted. We wanted ethanol, and we made it managed to produce ethanol in two steps. So that was the second step down here. We had I'll write two for a second step. We had ethyl hydrogen sulfate, which is a big molecule, bumping into a water molecule, which was a H2O. And when that happened, we had two new products being formed, sulfuric acid, which was here, H2SO4, and ethanol, which was C2HOH, which was right here. And the important part is, if we look at those two reactions, we have these intermediate products here, come again in the second one. And also importantly, we have sulfuric acid here, and we have sulfuric acid here. And the reason why they call it catalyst is because they help make a reaction happen, but they're not consumed themselves, so not, they're not lost themselves. So we have it here in the reactants, they form this intermediate product, but then they're back here in the product. So this is the product. So overall, we went from ethylene with the help of water into ethanol. We did not lose sulfuric acid, it was just considered a catalyst because it helped made speed up the reaction and made it possible, but it was not consumed itself. We still have it here and here. Right. So overall, the equation would be ethylene, so ethylene plus water equals ethanol. You can kind of ignore these ones because they're just intermediate products and they're not lost. But overall, we've gone from one ethylene and a water molecule and made the water molecule attached to the ethylene molecule produce ethanol. So I hope that was useful.